Now, CEO of the Association of Oil Marketing Companies, Kwekwa Jumaibuya, says the association has asked its members to ensure safety standards amidst the COVID-19 outbreak in Ghana. He tells Joy Business all members have been directed to acquire personal protective equipment as part of special safety standards which will roll out on Friday. It was yesterday that we had a document um, written to that effect, which we have circulated to all our OMCs for compliance. And because we identify areas where we are susceptible to these viruses, you know, at, at the retail outlets, holding the pump, you know, the dispenser, and even the cover of the client's uh, fuel tank, you know, is something which moves from one person to the other. So we, we, we drafted something for them to use. We, it's left for us to monitor. And normally we do that, we give them about two days for them to acquire their logistics. It includes the PPEs, and that takes a little bit of time for them to acquire. So by Friday, we start doing some audits on them. Fuel prices have plummeted. It's, 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 it's actually like today, the, uh, the last time I checked, was $29. How uh, are you bracing yourself? You've had a lot of backlash from last week for reduction. The pricing window opened, um, closed on the 16th. Some comply, they've reduced. But it looks like the thing is still going down. Yeah, it's going down. I mean, it's normal with this industry. The, the biggest upset we have is when will we go up? And, when, and that's where the issue is. And I've seen this barrel go down to $18 before. And uh, uh, we just have to go with the, the flow. And if you see the OMCs, the market is responding. The prices are going now, as we indicated in our press statement. The only thing, like I said, is where it stops which is difficult to predict. And if it's really related to this coronavirus, obviously, the more a cure is found, and the market will react. So it's OK. We are in it. It's, there's nothing we can do for now. It's eroding your profits. And it doesn't mean that um, it's just going to go back to the consumer again. And basically, it's when it's going up, when it's tight. Now. We believe our members are up to scratch. They put in their costs properly, in their margins properly. Meanwhile, aviation, fuel mar uh, aviation marketing companies are expected to take a hit as international airlines decide to temporarily suspend flights due to the spread of the novel coronavirus. Beyond the outbreak, airport authorities, including the Ghana Airport Company Limited, have begun enforcing travel bans. This, this the chief executive of the Association of Oil Marketing Companies, Kwekwa Jimandua, says is going to affect the bottom line. The other side of it is the aviation fuel that we supply. It's going to go drastically down. We know these aircrafts, about 40 to 45 percent of their cost is on aviation fuel. Now, if you are coming to Ghana with uh, a capacity side of 300 passengers and you are coming with 80 or less or canceling your flights, what it means is that they cannot refuel in Ghana. And that becomes uh, a concern to us. Uh, because over the past uh, year, aviation fuel has been going up. In fact, um, it was gradually becoming a hub for refueling. It used to be Senegal. They would beat them to it. Nigeria came in, they couldn't stand. So this West Africa area, uh, Kotoka had been a refuel point. And now if you're going to have this issue, it's going to really affect us. Um, we hope it doesn't really go on for a long haul. If it's a short-term fire, we can deal with it. It goes a long haul. It means all the uh, investment we have made in aviation, it's huge investment we made in aviation for uh, See the depots we have there, uh, it's all going to go to naught. Because the domestic travels is not that much. We don't pick that much for domestic. But normally the international flights that we tend to consume a lot of aviation for. Uh, so it's, it will be a great concern to us.